What's up? I am going to be interrupting the um, the girls' videos for this episode because it's my birthday, and I just wanted to do a little bit of a, a birthday reflection episode, really. And yeah, I'm cold. Um, so I mean, this year, I mean, God, it's gone so quick. Um, you know, this time last year, I'd not long since been off stage. We'd been to Vegas um, between mine and Ryan's birthday, like late October last year. And I don't even remember what I did for my birthday last year. Went for a nice meal, me and Ryan. Um, but yeah, we were still in our old house. So what's changed? Um, so I got onto the property market this year. So I um, officially got myself a mortgage. If you listen carefully there, you can hear the doorbell go. The postman came, sorry. <laughs> Cause I got some gifts. Some more gifts for my birthday. So yeah, so friends from Dubai and my friend from Newcastle from Michelle. Um, obviously the other co-founder of Supreme, so thank you. Had a little bit of a teary cry on uh, Instagram. So I was talking about the um, me getting onto property market. So obviously now age 33 or 32 at the time, um, just got um, oh, so much my makeup, but um, a house finally. Um, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time and kept saying that I was going to and Again, one of those societal norms where you feel you've got to conform and that's the done thing. So for many years, I've always kind of felt that I've not been doing good enough, that everyone else around me, obviously the whole marriage, kids, house thing, and I've still not got any of them. Um, but a house for me has always just been that thing that I've always wanted to be able to do. And I can proudly say that, you know, my first house is a five bed detached out in the countryside with a garage, conservatory, and I know that it's not a materialistic thing, but for me that was always, when I pictured a house, that's what I wanted. Um, and I'm not one to settle with things like that either. So if I want something, I'll pretty much either skimp myself until I get it or wait strategically until I can get it. And this time it was strategic and actually it kind of all paid off and fell into place. Um, I haven't competed this year. This is my first proper full year off. Um, albeit it's not been the most necessarily productive off season for me. Um, just various things with my job because I came back into Olympus um, two months before my last birthday, so last September, back into um, where I'd been previously and had to go through a lot of training um, this last year um, to then enter this division. So that held back and it's making excuses, I know, but there's been a lot of travel for me this year with this job and a lot of bedding in this job and a lot more um, early starts, late finishes. Um, so yeah, so the things have got to obviously take priority. You can only juggle so many things at once to be doing them well. Um, and I was happy at this point in my life to kind of just step back from training a little bit this year. Um, don't get me wrong, it's still important, but I have had a number of weeks off this time. Um, I think probably most successfully is that I've actually gotten to a point now, and it's only really happened in the last couple of months, so I've openly obviously spoken on um, our Facebook Live slash is now on IGTV um, about... Um, my previous eating disorders. Now, I wouldn't say that they've gone away. I would say I would class myself now as more of a disordered eater. But I've kind of gotten recently to the point where I'm actually quite happy, excuse me, um, within myself. Like, I'm by no means the skinniest. I look all right. And I don't seem to be necessarily beating myself up about how I look right now. But also the same with food. I'm not um, 
strategically weighing anything. I'm not really planning my food properly. It's a case of I keep have you know pretty much healthy stuff in the fridge. Um, some days I'll fully prep, some days I won't, some days I'll just go with the flow. If obviously an offer comes up to eat out somewhere with friends or colleagues, I'll just go and do it and not stress. Um, so yeah, it's been a definitely a well-needed and quite eventful age 32. Um, obviously me and Michelle officially, you know, started or set up as Supreme Minority, what, about three months ago now as well. So again, that's taken a massive priority for me um, in regards to balancing, well, I've balanced home life, that's probably not actually very well balanced, but um, trying to have a decent home life, which I do know does need improvement, um, as well as juggling my job and Supreme, because Supreme, without a doubt, even though it's... Um, definitely the main passion has taken a lot of time um, and still does take a lot of time. There's still a lot that he's doing, but because it's something we're both so passionate about, it doesn't necessarily feel as much like a job. You know, like some things, if it's work related for your employer, you'll procrastinate because um, you don't really want to do it. And it's just the crappy bits of shit that you know you've got to do, but you keep putting it off, keeping it off. Expenses, one of mine, bit of admin. Um, but with Supreme, it doesn't seem that way. So if I get back late from, I don't know, driving to Essex and I've got loads of orders to package up, I actually still do that. I mean, I didn't last night. I did actually package everything up this morning from the ones that have been placed over the last few days while I've been in Amsterdam. Um, but yeah, it just does take priority now. Um, I've got f one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the next five days off now um, from work. I was supposed to have today off as a full day, but it didn't happen. And I'm going to be concentrating on trying to get the rest of my diploma done for my uh, life coaching. That's kind of the priority, really, for the next few days. Um, catching up with people um, tomorrow and Friday. I've got a massage with Murpho. Yay! And um, then, yeah, weekend plans. Hopefully see Michelle on Sunday as well. And, yeah, and then I've got quite a big meeting on Tuesday that's pretty important in terms of deciding my next at least 12 months with my job job. Um, if it pays off, I'm going to be very busy for 12 months. If it doesn't pay off, I'm pretty much maybe screwed for the next four or five years. So we'll see. Um, no pressure. But, yeah, it's just a bit of a, a reflective one. Um like we've come so far already with Supreme and, you know, it's actually days like today, even though I appreciate everything that everyone does and the contact we get back from people, it is actually today's like today where, today's like today? Days like today where things come through, messages come through from um, obviously new customers of ours now, that people that follow us, people that I've met along the way this year with bodybuilding from a tanning perspective, because I've done a lot of shows from the tanning side for Pro Tan. Um, and it's just been so lovely to meet all those people. And obviously this time hasn't made me want to jump on stage. You know, I've actually really, really enjoyed the behind the scenes stuff this year. Um, so yeah, it's just, I just want to say thank you. Um, Ripe old age of 33 as of today. Going for some touch-ups tomorrow. Um, bit of a pamperage with my friend Maria. Um, and yeah, thanks for tuning in. I know it's not really a, a mindset piece, this one, but it is definitely more of a reflective um, for me. It's been a good 12 months of change, very much in a positive way for me this, um, this 12 months. Learned a hell of a lot. Um, immersing myself in everything learning based to try and get me where I need to be. Um, if I could have one birthday wish, I think it would be to have more hours in the day right now. Definitely. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bit of a waffly one, but I'm just giving out my thoughts today while I'm sat here looking like a friggin' hobo. Um, could stay in my hair. I just actually just don't care. I don't care. Um, 
But yeah, thank you very much. And tune in, the videos of the girls will commence after this video. So as of Sunday, the next day, the next video will be um, our girls coming at you from the Supreme shoot again. Thank you very much. Oh.